Well, all right, we're, we're trying a new strategy. Eaters suck. <laughs> Don't take eaters unless if uh, you have to. I mean, dwarf is one of the best eaters. I'll still do dwarf beer things. Maybe I still go for a toddler early. Even though I just said eaters suck. I mean, it's that or another cat, and I don't want another cat, so. I mean, I don't know, man. I've been really lost in this game. I'm trying to, like, game it out, but I keep getting lost in the sauce. Maybe not realizing that just getting lucky is more important than anything else. I don't know if that was right. It's hard to say. Like, every time I take eaters, I lose. And then every time I take something else instead of eaters, I also lose. So I don't... I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong, but really, it seems that it's just damned if you do, damned if you don't. It kind of comes down to luck either way, which is potentially disappointing. I don't know why I'm thinking about the urn. It's just better than everything else, and we have so many empties. You know what? I'll take the tuper. I'll say, screw the eater in favor of the things that are worth more, because I need something going free. I'll take an early clubs, because that has late game potential. Like, maybe there's only some strategies that you can guarantee will go late game. I will actually take Bar of Soap over Dwarf. No. Mm, that's hard. Bar of Soap is guaranteed 21 money. And Dwarf right now is only 10. But, I mean, it could give more over time. So, maybe that's better. And I guess it's a 1 per itself. Oh, but it replaces a 1 per. Uh, we get a wine, so I guess maybe it works out. Reroll is pretty good for me right now. Not trying to go monkey. I mean, we take the thing that's worth more. Don't double drinks. A bartender for the dwarf. See, it's like, yeah, you can do as much math as you want, but sometimes you just get bartender dwarf before the 100 rent cycle. What the hell? I could take a coal now and be fine. Jesus Christ. Let's hope we can carry this. Or continue to carry this. I might even take another dwarf. With the bartender, we want to make sure we're drinking. I took an urn, so I grab hooligan. Conveyor belt's great. More bartenders are great. Happy hour is phenomenal. Uh, ninja's terrible. <laughs> no, two good ones. Dwarven anvil, I think. Yeah, dwarven anvil has to be better than very big symbol bomb. This one's nutty. We got two symbol bombs, but dwarven anvil is the one. Absolutely. Sometimes you just get Dwarven Anvil with a uh, bartender and you're like, why do I even try to do math? Why? Why? What is the point? Target's just fine. Hunting for arrows. Alright, so I don't want to put a lockbox on. That is run losing. I don't even think I want to go bounty hunter. I have a banana peel, so I don't need a bounty hunter. I mean, void creature's just generally better. Maybe not? Yeah. I guess it would have been technically worse there. I'll make it to 300 just fine. So I'll save my rerolls for then. I guess I'll just do coconut. Happy hour, there we go. Yeah, sometimes you get dwarven anvil, happy hour, bartender dwarf. <laughs> I think strawberry is better than beer here, but beer is pretty good. There'll be more beers in the sea. We'll take strawberry. I could take a reroll capsule. That's fine. I made a martini. I wonder if that's one of the worst <laughs> outcomes. Right, let's get rid of the... I think the flowers. Well, I could get sun. I could also get card shark. If I got card shark, would I take it? No, let's get rid of the club. Club's worse then. Then I could also get rid of another thing. Maybe cherry. Send that one. Diamonds popped out. Martini is pretty good with happy hour. That's all true. Another bartender? Yeah, <laughs> and a barrel of dwarves? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, that has to be the move. Do I crack the barrel of dwarves? They're worth two each. They are worth two. And then we get multiple eats on the booze? Here's how it's gonna go. Here's how it's gonna go. Once a bartender produces a booze, only then will I crack the barrel. I will wait for a booze production. Or, you know, until I pick a booze. I don't need to go monkey anymore. We are really trying not to blow our deck. We created, we produced beer, I think. Well, who knows what we made. Yeah, we made beer. All right, so what? Then I go bronze arrow. I have two targets. All right, give me the arrow. Give me the barrel. Let's go. We get three eats. That's why you crack the barrel, because they each give 42. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good in that regard. So anytime any booze comes out, it's going to be a windfall. Yep. 
Anytime. Another three. I don't even have rusty gear. I don't even have an anthropology degree. But we did have an arrow. We got 84. Yeah. <laughs> this was just right. There is no denying it. Yeah, we pretty much won. I can feel good about taking hustling capsules and everything. It's... I mean, it is technically possible to lose this. Like, we could low roll for the rest of the game, but I don't know. I think I want better than a 7. I don't need the 7 right now. Looking for another bartender, basically. Geologist is... I mean, listen, it's not what I'm trying to do. And it probably won't even work anyways. Joker isn't what I'm trying to do. I don't know if I want another arrow. Two bronze arrows is pretty ass. I'm going to skip... All right, um, from these, the white pepper's the only one that does anything. And let's just get rid of more garbage. Candy is bad here. Maybe I could have taken the second arrow for the targets. Did not really consider that option. Next time, I suppose. All right, and then wine is even more crazy. I am impressed how, actually, the, the, none of the dwarves hit the wine. There we go. And I guess at the end of the day, Zarf, like Zarf would be good on the final rent cycle. Zarf would be good for just the final burst of money to close it off. Uh, yeah, no, Dwarven Anvil was not it. Urn is tempting uh, because I have Hooligan, but I don't think it's that good. Maybe a big urn, but not an urn. Because if it truly takes on average six times for it to line up, and even less frequently, if there's a bigger deck, which I do have, the urn is never going to hit the hooligan, so I sh just shouldn't pick it. It's probably like a 1 out of 10 or worse to hit that. King Midas is a no. Fossil probably is a no. Just take reroll capsule. Ah, recycling! Let's go. Yeah, recycling's insano. That'll let me get all the booze I want. I think I will hunt for booze. I mean, even if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. It's just, that's my profits. I get the booze. I get lucky capsules. Bartenders haven't been outputting much lately. That's a shame. Cows, that's not what I want. Joker's not what I want. Diver replaces Pearl. But I passed up an archaeologist or a geologist. So what gives? I don't know. Maybe, maybe Diver's like my long term. Maybe I should have gone geologist then for that reason. Did I reroll over geologist or did I take something? Well, actually, I I might have misplayed now. I either misplayed now or earlier. I just hedged my bets on that, basically. Also, the geologist is a little messy with dwarf and anvil. <laughs> I just realized. Oh, I should be rerolling, looking for beers. Or I could stockpile. No, I'm saving for here. Yeah, yeah I was definitely saving up for here. If I get some banger, that's way better. Strawberry, seven isn't enough. Tomb is pretty good. I have Hooligan. Tomb is worth it for that cause. And Tomb's just decent in general. Rusty gear. Let's go. Okay. Uh, this run almost was about to run out of steam, but now it's it's kicking it. Probably just toss the cat. All right. I will look for beers. I could take a thief. I have this banana peel. I think I will take it, actually. I need to get rid of that at some point. Do I... Take another dwarf? I mean, they're worth four with rusty gear, so yes, I want to ma maximize odds of rusty gear. Forpers are enough to win a run. I could probably go hustling capsule and get away with it. Unless if I like lose right now, but I don't know. We just got an arrow and a thief. Alright, let me just take this seven here. Just to make sure we'll be fine. We'll yeah, we'll be fine. Still looking for things to hit though. I don't know how many rerolls I want to do. I mean, Void Stone's enough. It's a little dicey, but we're making it. Just barely. Not another diver. Looking for... Robin Hood's interesting. I kind of want another bartender. I kind of want a... Yeah, just something stronger. <laughs> uh, can I, like, take this guy and put him in a pocket for later? One more rent cycle and this guy's, guy's amazing. Next time. Is Dame good now? Dame drinks martinis and buffs the diamond. I feel like that alone is fantastic. If I had anthropology degree, I think I'd take this. I think I'll take it regardless. I hope I don't lose because of that. All right, lunchbox is awesome. Show me beers. Beer. No. And no. Okay, one beer is good enough. 
It's been a while since we had a triple sip. <laughs> 84. That is very nice. Now the question is, do I want to save these rerolls for Zoroff, or do I want to try to get stuff like, you know, just instant money or booze? It's like Zoroff does just instantly win. I, I think I want to hunt for Zoroff. That's, that's a fun way to close it off. Item capsules are still good for me. Well, that wasn't good. But... These bartenders are weak, dude. It's been so long. There's two of them. It's like 81. It's like 19% to produce a beer. beer, Or at booze of any type. If there's two of them. Alright. Here we go. Hey, well... <laughs> immediate Zoroff payoff. Uh, yes, actually, he's just objectively good here. So let's do that. And... <laughs> I thought I was going to have to re-roll for him. Well, now I'm just re-rolling for massive amounts of booze while I still have the dudes. Um, I think Nori is the only thing that maybe could pay out. And then I'll, I'll get rid of some garbage still. I'll still get rid of the flower. That does nothing for me. I'm not getting a sum at this point. Oh, yeah, and also looking for more faces. He eats. He consumes. It is time for Zoroff to bring us home. Show me something. You know what? Toddler for Zoroff. That counts. All right, we've eaten most of our good ones, but it's all right. The dwarf synergy is still popping. I have eight dwarves still. I think this is better. I think it actually is. No! <laughs> Wait, he's he got it still. Uh, all right, good enough for me. I don't know if 22 is right. Oh, but we get the seven. The seven is enough to bring it home, I think. One last Dame buff too. We also have a ninja for Zoroff. Zoroff has so many targets. Zoroff is just a massive closer. Bring it home for all of us. Uh, you know what? Let's do, let's do beer again. His last act was the drink. I can't imagine a better way to go out. 164! Incredible! We won! We did it! <laughs> we uh, made rent. Not sure if thanks to Zoroff, but Zoroff... No, Zoroff gave great money. There is nothing to hate there. Absolute just love across the board. Let's just let's just clear the rest of it, this out. See how much money we get. We'll take a bounty hunter. You know, Zaroff is fine with those. What's even my worst thing? Wait, coconut half? Coconut half's pretty bad. I don't even know why I'm removing it. There's just empties otherwise. I, I guess I'm trying to clear the board. That's what's happening. Coltis for Zaroff. Oh, a three hit. Very nice. And we get the target too. One of the cleanest, crispiest boards we've gotten. Let's do a last second swear jar. Awesome. Very cool. Do we... <laughs> we have 14 empties by the end of this. I can't believe I saved up 18 reroll capsules to get Zoroff on the first offering. Take this into endless. Do we think this could even make it to a thousand? Let's try. Let's let's try. Let's see if we can do it. What would I take? Maybe a cow? No, I could look I could look for better. King Midas. <laughs> that actually might not be too bad. It honestly might. We get Zarov's contract. No, we take blue pepper here. Uh, excuse me. We have a billion empties. King Midas is like the only post Zarov thing that could maybe save us. We have coins, rusty gear. You know, buffing capsule. Sure. Oh, that was terrible. Now I need to get rid of Zarov. Nonsense. He's great. You know what? I'm actually going to grab the coin. Let's go. Will we make it to a thousand? Hexa Midas? With King Midas? I'm going to do it. So I got to stop taking King Midas energy. Or non-King Midas energies now. I only go King Midas. Alright, we're going to make a thousand. Just barely. Hopefully we get a removal capsule. We do, right? We should. We should be able to remove Zoroff. Yeah, we should be able to remove Zoroff here. Now, is that going to be fast enough is the question. We need another Midas? Midas or Pirate? Not getting it. Okay. Well, <laughs> we managed to make it to a thousand, but anything beyond that, it's... No. Nah. It, it would take a miracle here. Cool. Alright, can I get one more win so I can bring my win percentage... Win record back to 
No, win percentage back to 33%. Let's find out. 